should we have fish shelters in our fish tanks or should we leave the fish tanks empty? This is what we're going to see together in this video. So today we're going to talk about fish shelters, but before anything, if you are new to this channel, really you are welcome. Here you're going to learn about aquaponics, how to build an aquaponic system and how to make it sustainable uh, to grow some food in your own backyard, a food that is tasty and healthy. So today we talk about the fish shelter. Uh, a shelter is a place where the fish will be able to hide. So do we need to place one of those shelters in our fish tanks or not. Uh, if you look at in the natural environment, you will find that in a river, in a lake, the fish are a lot of place where they can hide. First, uh, there, is, there are some plants in a lake or in a river, aquatic plants, where it forms a kind of forest and sometimes the fish hide between the plants. Uh, also, you got roots, uh, you know, roots in, a, in the natural environment, wood, pieces of wood, rocks, so there are a lot of different elements where the fish can hide. There are also some uh, pots sometimes that are in the, in the rivers, in the lakes, pipes, all those things that are uh, basically uh, waste from humans uh, that are sometimes used by the fish as well to, to hide. It so creates basically uh, an artificial reef and uh, that's where the fish can hide if they feel stress. So when the fish are in their natural environment, uh, if you walk along the, a river or a lake, most of the time you don't see the fish because as soon as they hear you walking on the, on the border of the, of the river or the lake, uh, it creates some vibrations and the fish feel the vibrations, they get scared and they either hide under a shelter, either they go away, very far away. Uh, in our fish tanks, uh, the fish tanks are in aquaponics are quite limited in size. So obviously when you walk around the fish tanks, the fish have no place to go. That's why it can be a good idea to add some shelters, some places for the fish to hide. In aquaculture, you will very rarely see shelters. The fish are just grown in tanks uh, in high density. So when the fish are in high density, uh, they feel a bit more comfortable uh, when there is a stress just because uh, there is this cool effect. In aquaponics, uh, if you are growing fish in low density, you don't have the same effect. So it may be good to add uh, some shelter sometimes to allow your fish to hide and to decrease the level of stress when uh, they feel uh, some people around or where there is some noise. Uh, a shelter can also allow your fish to hide if there is a predator around. So if you have a pond outside, a fish pond uh, that is open and you got some uh, birds that are coming and that are uh, fish predators, putting some shelters in the, in, the, in the pond in this case is very, very important. It's going to allow your fish to hide. Especially true if you have uh, some uh, nice colorful fish such as koi carp or uh, golden trout or goldfish. Those type of fish, they really need to have some places to hide because there is a big contrast between the color of the fish and the background and the big predators when they fly around, they really see uh, the fish and so if there is no, no place for them to hide, they're going to be eaten very quickly. So see, that's the positive point of putting a shelter in a tank. But now, what are the negative points? Because yes, there are some negative points. Uh, and the real one, the main one, is that when you add something in your tank, when you design an aquaponic system, when you design a fish tank, you're going to put a water pump inside and it's going to create a nice current into the tank. This current is going to allow all the particles, all the fish poo or anything to go, to, to, to move into the tank, into the water and to finish sucked by the pump or blocked by the filter of the pump. So then when you clean your pump, you can clean it or if it's sucked by the pump, it's going to finish either in the filter of the aquaponic system or in the grow bed. Now, if you put a lot of shelters, uh, what the shelters are doing, most of the time we are using pipes, uh, but you can use pipes, you can use uh, pots, 
you can even use pieces of uh, wood, uh, you can use roots. A lot of different things can be used as shelters, but pipes are the, most, uh, the easiest one. So uh, what happens is that when you put those type of things in your aquaponic system, most of the time it modifies the currentology. Uh, the, yeah, the current of the water that is just around the pot and inside or around the pipe and inside the pipe. And, and so because the current is modified, the particles or the waste, the fish waste, are just falling down, just close under the pot, under the pipe, and it creates some layers of particles and it can turn into mud. So that means that you will have to uh, sometimes clean, siphon uh, the the surrounding of the spot. So that's a, that's a bit of a problem. It's not a real issue, but it increases the maintenance that you have to add in your tank. But on the other way, it's going to allow the fish to live well comfortably. And if you have a fish of different sizes, so if you have a social fish, not trout, right, but fish that can live together with different sizes or even different spaces, it's good to add some pipes because then the, fish, the small fish can sometimes hide from the big one uh, and it's going to allow them to, will, to live well together. So as you understand, I am really keen for uh, a few shelters in the tank, but not too many, otherwise it becomes a bit tricky uh, to manage. If you are new to this channel and if you haven't done it yet, you can get the free aquaponics training from the description of the video just below or from the eye like information on the corner of the video. In this step-by-step uh, -step training, you will uh, get some crucial, critical information to build your own aquaponics system in good conditions and uh, to maintain it properly to basically allow you to grow some sustainable, healthy and tasty food at home. So it's in the description of the video just below and it is completely free. So get it and build your own aquaponic system. If you are new to the channel, you can also subscribe. And if you like the video, please give it a like. I see you in the next one. Bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from the screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!